Can the PSL ever compete with the IPL? T20 league circuit has become very crowded. So you are always competing with someone except for IPL where there is no other cricket happening. 95% of your viewership actually is from Pakistan. That has to be it, right? So it's like the marks and the other one we obviously focus on is United we will. Teams are catching up to this the marks idea. Maybe we need to reinvent the wheel. Anything like that? He got Shada. He was a very very young guy, but we knew that he has leadership abilities and and he can do very very well. How difficult was it to get Nasim Shah? Very difficult. Pakistan right now uh, in a few weeks when we go play the World Cup has a lot of Islamabad United DNA. We had a defined goal that we will give two to three cricketers to the national team in two to three years. We were able to do that within within the first first year itself, right? Assalamu alaikum everyone and welcome to another episode of How Does It Work a podcast by Pro Pakistani. We have a very very special episode today. Um we're shooting it on Zoom. We have the owner of Islamabad United Ali Nakvi uh on the podcast. Firstly though, thank you so much for being on the podcast. No delighted to be here. Thank you for having me. Acha. To sir abhi main aapko yahi keh raha tha ki there's so many things I want to know. Uh lekin let's start with you know your your life and your career. So you work in the capital markets from what we understand. Thoda sa hame Can you tell us how your career started? So um um like anyone else's career actually right it's uh, I um I have an engineering background uh, so I'm an electrical engineer and then I did my MBA um and I started in the equities world this is um, 93 94 uh, Pakistani actually I started from Pakistan Pakistan market was opening up um equities was very new then um and uh, I went and did my internship in karachi um uh, and uh, then i loved equities and i just went back to equities um and since then i have been in um, capital markets capital markets is a fancy word but it's mainly your equities fixed income commodities and karachi mein aap uh, did you grow up in karachi where did you grow up uh, like life wise where were you living what did you study aap ka engineering how does engineering become sort of the financial world So engineering, if you were, uh, I was one of those, right? It's uh, if you were a good student, you had to be either a doctor or engineer. I'm I'm from that era, so uh, and we had a lot of doctors in our family, so I probably wanted to run away from medicine, I guess. Uh, so I I went into engineering. Uh, in those days, you could do both because uh, uh, before you got into professional uh, school, uh, you had a about fifteen months of Uh, wait so i did both and i could get into medicine and engineering so i went into engineering did that um and um in pakistan you can't do a lot of engineering r and d or or it's mostly maintenance oriented uh, i think so that uh, i did for about a year and then i uh, did my mba um and then um, went into equities and us time pe pakistan ki market what was your view of it at the time um what do you think of it now So it's 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 the same one 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 sentence has stayed the same actually probably as it's gotten muted a little bit but potential was there so uh, mm. so I think it was the same but but just just to give you one idea so when we went um, um, it was ninety three and in ninety four uh, Pakistan did the largest and I'll 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 pause here Pakistan did the largest global equity market uh, position uh, placement. in emerging markets globally so it uh, it had never been done it was close to 900 million dollars it was a ptcl pakistan telecoms first uh, gdr hugely successful it made to the first page of asian wall street journal as well uh, so it was bigger than china india south america and so so just to give you a context because we opened we were the first one to open up the economy uh, in the early 90s so so we we took off very very uh, well um my my initial claim to fame was that we i i found a problem with that uh, gdr and uh, and the deal didn't go well after that after it was listed uh, but uh, but but that's where the potential of pakistan was um and uh, in the last 30 years obviously um, it didn't go the way it should have gone and now that you're, you you're sort of working in this world of you know capital markets uh, very you know finance sort of uh, world so when does the opportunity come up for someone like you to buy a p 
پی ایس ایل ٹیم اور یہ چیز کیا ور یو آلویز اے کرکٹ فین واز اٹ سم تھنگ یو آلویز وانٹ ٹو ڈو ہاؤ ڈو دا ہول اپرچونٹی کم اباؤٹ سو آئی تھنک لائک ناٹ آل بٹ موسٹ آف پاکستان از یو فالو کرکٹ یو گرو اپ ود کرکٹ آئی تھنک ون آف دا ارلی میموریز از ٹو گو گو واچ اے کرکٹ میچ ایون اے فرسٹ کلاس میچ ود ود آر گرینڈ فادر سو آئی تھنک دیٹ دیٹ ہیپن آئی واز نیور اے گڈ پلیئر فرینکلی آئی نیور میڈ اٹ ٹو دا ٹو دا school uh, team uh, only to the house team uh, but um, but when when you move out you uh, probably are a little bit more nostalgic about the country i i, I always say that um, and um, and then you look at opportunities to see how to contribute um, and uh, when t20 started it was very clear that uh, that this is something which will do very well because it was a, a short it was actually cricket and it was very entertaining so if you mix the, all the three together and given pakistan's background then it should be successful uh, and and pcb have tried to do it a few times um, when they were doing it in 2015 again um, i got to know about it and then uh, i still remember in august 2015 uh, there was a, a phone call went in and then from there till uh, this early december uh, everything was done and do you make that uh, do they so is it like an invite only or can anyone bid on a psl team us zamane mein what was the market like you find out about it uh, does everyone submit the same bid uh, how does that part work and then did you pick islamabad or, or was that an emotional decision or was that just the team that was available so um i th- i think anybody could go in actually so obviously you had to qualify then later on um uh, and um uh, islamabad was p- primarily because islamabad is the uh, federal capital uh, and we wanted to be a little bit more than one city uh, and that's what our positioning has been for the last uh, last 9 10 years uh, that that to position it as um uh, the federating unit uh, and that's why we call uh, ourselves united as well uh, because the idea is actually to bring everybody together um and then uh, become bigger than one city itself from just a numbers standpoint i mean you don't have to confirm or deny this but it's rumored to be somewhere around the 15 million dollar sort of mark um did you think that it was a worthwhile investment did you look at this from a purely number standpoint and say yaar ha isse ye asset jo hai iski value bahut zyada increase hogi over the years or was it more like i want to give back to the country i love sports i like cricket what was your mindset at the time I, I think it's a combination of the two, but yeah, I, I better be strongly. I personally strongly believe in actually that anything which is not financially sustainable will not survive. Uh, so, so it has to make sense. Uh, it may make sense a few few years further on, but it has to make sense. So, um, so our my day job is finance. Um, so, what we call risk adjusted return. Um, the risk in the in an emerging market is higher um, than a developed market. and then the risk in uh, what what i call a, 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 a business which involves passion uh, it can be sports it can be entertainment uh, there the risk is even higher so um, so the so the risk was much higher but if you look at what where pakistan was uh, the scarcity of entertainment the population size the craze about cricket um, it was a no brainer i i saw uh, pakistan india semi final in 2013 in sri lanka it was the asia cup um and we had few friends as sri lankan indian and uh, uh, and i went there and that was my first big exposure uh, to uh, t20 and to me it was a no brainer that it it actually should do very very well regardless of all the other uncertainties um around uh, pakistan uh, but it should do well it may take a few years uh, and, and and that's how it has uh, panned out and every year you have to sort of invest more into the sort of the team obviously new players coaches uh, finances uh, explain something just layman terms mein uh, is it the kind of thing like maine ghar khareeda uh, and i can just sell it as in so sort say tomorrow i'm not saying you'd want to you it's the most successful franchise in psl lekin theoretically can a psl owner just sell their team is it like is it just uh, the same as any other asset of course you can sell yeah it's under the contract you are uh, uh, you are uh... Well, yeah you can sell that's that's that uh, is doable um i think the investment is not only financial it's the time uh, investment it's actually to 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 make sure that the the, the cause you went in for uh, actually you fulfill that uh, as well so so it's actually a combination of different things you want to do when you sort of purchased this team on day 1 uh was there a sort of mindset of 
यू नो अब तो बहुत मशहूर है सब जानते हैं दिमाग से देर इज यू नो मनी बॉल कह लें अप्रोच जिसमें आपने एक चीज़ को लेके चलना है इन सर्टन वे एट द टाइम वन यू स्टार्टेड और वन यू वन यू नो यू फाउंड आउट के अच्छा यार द बिट इज गोइंग थ्रू एंड यू गोइंग टू बिकम द ओनर ऑफ इस्लामाबाद यूनाइटेड वो इज देर ऑलवेज अ विजन एंड अ प्लान फॉर वॉट जो अब नजर आ रहे हैं हमें या वॉज दैट समथिंग दैट टुक टाइम टू सॉर्ट कम टूगेदर no no absolutely it was it was from day one it was actually not even day one it was actually from before we actually submitted the application the whole idea was um that uh that we will actually bring uh we we'll do two main things number one is we'll bring uh, improvement in cricket itself uh and improvement that can be in different things it's not only the players the grooming of the players the but also the management team the coaching team the style of management um and the second thing was to use the popularity of cricket itself do other positive things in society um as a whole um and that uh, we focus on education and environment all those things are happening you know we go to tca for u- universities that is not happening by chance that actually is part of the strategy and the vision we had from day one so so one of the things we started with when we said dimark say dimark say actually started with uh, with with season one we they actually in cricket as a whole actually it was not happening um the reason we brought in dean jones was uh, because he was very numbers driven um he had obviously a lot of other uh, uh, positive he is a great guy uh, so so we wanted to bring him in because he was very very numbers focused so, so that was a very intentional uh, decision uh, then we brought in um, uh, rehan and hasan chima who were you know very famous now uh, um, they they actually came in because they were passionate about sports and they were passionate about um, uh, data analytics so so they came in so the team we brought in actually was very very focused uh, on numbers when we brought in misbah as well and um, you i don't know whether you remember or not but uh, that was a very unconventional uh, decision yeah. as well but but again he's a guy who's very smart very cricket minded and very focused on numbers and uh, analytics as well so the whole team which came together without declaring it like that actually the whole thing was focused on uh dimaag se yeah no i remember so big uh, islamabad united fan so on a side note and uh, i remember the first psl we i went to watch a game in dubai as well and i remember thinking when the teams were announced yeah islamabad you know ye, sami at the time you know a lot of players you you picked were not stars right uh, or what we thought of as stars and so i remember thinking ki yaar obviously i'm born and bred islamabad se hu islamabad united all the way but how will this work and then pehle season mein you go on and you know we win the whole thing uh, inaugural psl islamabad united jeetti hai how was that feeling and did you expect to get results so quickly with such a different strategy to everybody else so so let me take a step back let, let, let's let's go back to the uh, the draft date itself basically right so when when we yeah. went in uh, we had done the numbers and i i still remember we had the printouts and we went through the night before we went through all the all the data and 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 the names which are coming up were as you are saying were very unconventional and one of the things we had focused was that we were very clear from top down that we will focus on the numbers and bring good people together so there were only two things we'll focus on numbers and uh, team players that has to be it right so it's like the marks and the other one we obviously focus on is united we win that it's actually it's not one star it's the team together which wins so um, so those two things together were the only two criteria from my point of view and then obviously the team team decides so the names which came up you you remember uh, you know sharjeel's name obviously had come up khalid yes. latif had come up misbah had come up sami had come up uh, so there were so many unconventional names and we got a lot of flack because of that that you know what type of team you are uh, uh, you you picking up uh, but we were very focused that didn't pan out well in the initial phase if you remember the first four or five mm-hmm. matches uh, we won, we won yeah, only yeah. one and then we were not winning actually um and that yeah you went the long way to the final of course and and then he, yeah, then yeah. it uh, we we came under a lot of pressure as you would imagine right the people were saying you know we we were telling you these are not right players blah 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 and and we had a lot of internal debates as well uh debates meaning analysis but we knew the strategy is right and the whole thing was to just stick to that strategy uh and and i think that's the thing that it's it's the mark say what we call smart but fearless cricket and then also stick to the plan the 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 key is sticking to the plan because the, the as long as you are winning everybody says ke jo bhi plan hai ya nahi hai everybody will be happy with it so you come under pressure when the plan is not working out 
So you you revisit the plan, you can uh, look at it critically, but if you know the plan is right, then stick to it. And that's what we did. That we stuck to it, the team stuck together and knew that this is it, it didn't come under too much pressure and then uh, found their way out of it. And then, so you win the first PSL, everybody's over, uh, Islamabad uh, fans are over the moon, chale. and then, uh, you know, uh, a few years later, I think a year later after the second PSL, the third PSL, you do something even, like, I remember thinking, who is Ronky or ye kaun hai or ye kaas hai? And then he goes and, you know, and I, I was at that final uh, as well when we, when, when Islamabad won uh, um, the second PSL. Achha, by this time, to everybody is sold on, you know, this money ball, the Marxay approach because, look, it's working, right? Uh, Ronky hame, you know, uh, jita hai, Sami hame jita hai, the, the, the things you wouldn't expect are happening. And then, so you win the first two out of the three, and then and then there's a period that follows. Ja, success dries up for various reasons. Uh, luck plays a part. Other teams get better. Jo bhi hai. Acha, ab is moment mein walk me through. Do you start doubting ever? You know, okay, it worked in the beginning, but maybe we had a head start. Teams are catching up to this the Marxay idea. Maybe we need to reinvent the wheel. Anything like that? So. Uh... I, I, I'm not sure whether we doubt ourselves, but I think the idea is to revisit. Whether you win or lose, you go and revisit and 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 see the assumptions and see what needs to be tweaked. I think that's a very standard. Is what you call the SOPs, you know, standard operating mm. procedure. Uh, that should be the case. Whether you're winning or losing, so that you can actually continue to refine and uh, and improve. Um, I think in 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 hindsight. What happened was because uh, we and we, I've never talked about it. I, I, I don't actually, I don't do these things actually, frankly, but so, yeah, yeah, so yeah. I, I, thank you so much for doing them. <laughs> no, but, 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 but I think the, the, the key was that when we started again, the vision was that we do, we'll do excellence in cricket and we had a defined goal that we will give two to three cricketers to the national team in two to three years. We were able to do that within, within the first, first year itself, right? So, so, so that was done. I think the other thing we also did was that from a management and coaching point of view, we'll actually groom people and 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 they can actually go and be with the team. And that took four or five years, like with with Rehan and Hassan and others actually moving up. Um, what happened in the meantime was we also wanted to groom groom the captain. And when we got Shada, he was a very very young guy, but we knew that uh, that he has leadership abilities um, and and he can do very very well. Um, so, so, so we gave him the responsibility um, after uh, uh, Sami, basically, um, and uh, and when we did that, so he was a very young guy, um, and then we didn't have Dino with us. So, so in hindsight, one our our experience thinned out, our strategy stayed the same, but our experience thinned out in this leadership team, and 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 because we were investing in Shada, what. In hindsight, probably should have happened is that we should have beefed up the team around him even more with experience, um, and and that's something which we realized. And I, uh, in the, if you look in the last one year, and we don't make big statements and we don't go out and say ha ha or hoo hoo. But what what one thing was very clear that we needed to uh, beef that up. So that was one thing which I worked on in the last one year. So if you see. With Mike Hassan coming in, Azhar actually was there. Uh, two other foreign coaches coming in. So our uh, our uh, seniority leadership. and then uh, leadership yeah. and then Shadab itself actually had gained three four years of experience as well. So that whole thing and and then bringing a player like Imad coming in with so much experience uh, and then Nasim coming in. So we actually beefed up that experience a lot lot more and we made some decisions which. Uh, which were which were tough to uh, make as well because there were a few people who were with us for a very long time, uh, and then uh, we had to make those changes. But 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 to me, I think that was that was the thing which uh, probably didn't allow us because the team was very talented. The thing was working. We always thought, and and actually most of the people in the last three seasons that oh we should go at least to the final and we should win. And somehow when we used to go to the playoffs. We actually couldn't perform as well, and we got a lot of criticism on that, uh, which, yeah. which actually was was, I think, partially warranted as well. And I think that was because we probably lacked more experience in the dugout, and and bringing that calm actually, and with Mike Hessen coming in, and that his his uh, his choice was actually very intentional as well. 
Um, I only interviewed three co coaches. We shortlisted. I only interviewed three coaches. Um, and I shortlisted him from that. He, he was the perfect guy because he's, he's strategic, he's analytical, he's very, very calm, and he let players do what they need to do. So, uh, so, so I think, I think that probably was, I don't want to over read on whatever has been done, um, in the last one season, but if I have to deduce that they, they, or, or summarize, then this will be the thing. And you see, me actually, it leads me to a very interesting sort of part of this that you actually highlighted to me in an earlier conversation that sometimes we look at teams and we just look at the players, right? How many stars are, how many big stars are, how many foreign stars are. And we assume that that's where money is spent or either that or marketing and stuff like that. But it is the coaching staff first and foremost that just like you said, leadership in the dugout is as critical, maybe more critical sometimes than the actual players it's themselves. And I thought it was very fascinating. We were talking about wage bills or total spends for a team. And no one ever... In, in our minds, we all think of Islamabad United as, as the, you know, intelligent spenders. Intelligently paisa lagate hain. But it, I found it very interesting when you told me that last year you spent the most, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, uh, within the PSL teams. And that's interesting because you're spending on things maybe jo visible nahi hai. Uh, so you, I'm not, I, you know, I can see a Shadab or I can see a Naseem, but I can't always, I don't always think of the coaching staff, the, you know, uh, backroom staff, the dugout essentially, and why it's that important. So, um, yeah, that's a, that's a good point. You are now uh, letting the secrets out a little bit more uh, than I would like to. But uh, <laughs> so, so, so two, 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 three data points. I think the first one is you're, you're, you're spot on. Uh, but let, let me generalize it. I think we are easily a top three spender. Uh, on the core costs. Um, and this is the data which PCB shares with us, right? So, so we are benchmarks. Um, um, but, but we, we, we spend it, it on things where we think that it's strategic and it actually will have a positive impact on the team itself. Um, that's the first one. I think the second thing which I'll, I'll broaden it to PSL. Um, there's a lot of this thing that, oh, there always used to be, a, you know, no one can come from IPL to PSL. And no one can come for any any seniority, basically, right? And and this is one of the most senior guys, uh, Mike Hessen. Uh, he wanted to come, and and he was quite keen, and he really enjoyed. Uh, we are very thankful to him, but he really enjoyed his time actually in in in, in Pakistan. Um, and uh, he wanted to come as well because PSL. He had heard so many good things about, so he wanted to experience it. So that in itself was a big coup for PSL as a whole, to have a very senior uh, IPL coach coming. Uh, and 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 coaching in uh, uh, in PSL itself. So 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 we where we need think that there is uh, something to be spent or done, then uh, we focus on that. Achha, tell me something. Uh, I have to bring these two things up because I found them fascinating as a fan. Right, last year when Nasim was on the market, there were rumors that either Jaiga or Jaiga different clubs, uh, different franchises, and even in a Samba United fan. Never assuming that we're going to go get Nassim. Because Nassim, you know, marketability-wise, uh, as a player, he's young, he's, he's improving every day. But as a star, he's, he's the star right now, right? How difficult was it to get Nassim Shah? Very difficult. So, but but let, me, let me say one thing. He wanted to come to us. Let me, let me be uh, us meaning Islamabad United. And, and, I yeah. think that, and I think that's a credit to the whole of the... Uh, uh, management team and and the player who are there, the environment they have created over the years. It's like basically, right? It's like an and and cricket, like every other sector. It's a, it's a very very small world. Actually, you get to know what is happening in So so I think I think the, the first one was that uh, Nasib wanted to come. Uh, number two was uh, as you are saying, he's a, we 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 didn't want him because he was a big star. Obviously, he's a big big star. He's a mega star. Uh, we wanted him because. Uh, we wanted our biggest weakness for the last four seasons was that we did not have good bowling uh, and in the death overs. That was our biggest weakness. We were trying to, uh, and we were unlucky. Kuch injuries ho jaati, kuch ho jaati, but, but we didn't have that. So that was actually a big hole we needed to uh, fill. Uh, so we uh, we negotiated very hard, um, and um, and um, I th- I think if you stay focused on it, then good things happen. I guess. And then the other one. Uh that I would have never imagined as well. That was also shocking for me is because I've never talked about teamwork ki or the marks. Se. Nobody is denying Imad Vaseem's brain, cricketing brain is up there with the best. 
राइट बट देर इज अट ऑफ टॉक यार वो ऐसा प्लेयर है वो वैसा प्लेयर है एंड एंड नाउ इज बैक इन द नेशनल फोर्ड विच इज आई डेफिनेटली क्रेडिट टू इस्लामाबाद यूनाइटेड इज वर्ल्ड बट वो जिमाद वसीम इट वॉज इंट द मोस्ट ऑब्वियस पिक राइट अगेन डेथ बॉलिंग अच्छी कराता था बट डिड यू आई मीन देर आर ऑल दीज रूमर्स ऑफ हिज यू नो पर्सनैलिटी एंड ऑल ऑफ दीज थिंग्स What do you, what did you make what did you guys see did you see it just for the stats or did you have a chat with him see what he's like as a person as well oh, absolutely lovely guy uh, absolutely because ab dekhi jab whenever somebody new come uh, comes in and i am not a day to day um, a person who is day to day involved in ke cricket mein kya ho raha hai kya rumor hai kya grape wine hai uh, but uh, but when he came in number one absolutely wonderful uh, a big team player he was the first one uh, to volunteer for whatever was required uh, and uh, most importantly you know he actually after because if you remember in the first four five games he actually wasn't clicking uh, yeah. and, and 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 imagine such a senior guy changing a team coming to a new team uh, and not performing so the amount of pressure which was on him uh, was unbelievable basically right but i think again credit to the whole the environment we have in the dressing room uh the the only message to him was that uh just just play your game that's it just play your game and it will come and that's it um and that's what happens that normally right and and we have seen that we have seen that in istanbul united and at, at the pakistan level so many times not for him but generally for other players over the years okay, you yeah, you give I mean, them confidence and that actually happens so he's he's absolutely a wonderful person um a wonderful family um uh, absolutely great guy the other person i should highlight actually um, um is is heather as well uh, you know when we picked heather uh, 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 you know it's amazing that you you know three seasons ago he was like um with uh, one of the stars uh, blah 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 uh, and then he didn't get picked up and 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 the key was and he i should say that we are, I, i said that to him um uh, he he probably has the strongest handshake i've ever uh, um, <laughs> gone for or gone with basically but it, it, it's unbelievable oh, it, he's such a strong guy the, i think the key was when mike hassan came in that he was he gave a very specific target to each player so haider ko pata tha exactly ki usne kya karna hai you know because we don't think about anything else just go and do that and mm. you focus on the strength of the players and i think i think that's how you allow players to do well and if you look at it i i, I was actually having this conversation with a friend of mine that day islamabad united has taken the not perfect uh, you know like i said it's, sometimes it's just about marketability at that period, period in time for a player azam khan will most likely play the world cup shadab imad naseem is pakistan right now uh, in a few weeks when we go play the world cup has a lot of islamabad united dna where they're not looking at you know the the brand they're looking at the result you're also the most successful psl team uh, now uh, uh, you've won three of them so you've set up the core that you wanted to in the beginning the vision was get players into the pakistan team rehan and all are involved in it as well get them into the coaching staff get that the marksy approach into the pakistan cricket board as well as win as many psls as you can you've done all of that so now what what's next so uh, i <laughs> I think you just keep on. Every season is a new season, you know. It's just like say that basically, whenever you go out, you can be the most successful batsman in the world. But when you go out to your next innings, you start from zero. So I think I think that's the approach we have. Actually, that I think we, we, it's absolutely fantastic for us, for Islamabad United followers and fans, that it's the most successful team. But then when we go into season ten. we are just focused on season 10 we are we were not thinking that ke piche kya hua tha i i i must say uh, azam I, i'm not saying that ki mai har ek ki tareef kar raha hu but uh, azam is absolutely wonderful uh, he, he's he's uh, he's he's a very good singer by the way as you probably know um <laughs> apart from apart from so many other things and he's a very good mimic as well um salman agha you didn't mention salman agha is very yes. very talented very very very, uh, very talented so so i i i think they they are good players and and it's not only islam but united i think they're good players in pakistan has so much potential the key is that how do we give them the right environment and i think that's where uh, the management coach ownership comes in to to do that and then let's talk about psl now right so psl itself aapne to most successful team uh, franchise mein to bana li now there's this whole conversation going on ki ji psl ko ipl ke sath sath karo do it at the same time and 
कि हमसे इंटरनेशनल प्लेयर्स यू मैंशन कोचेज इज वेल वी कैन वी गेट द बेस्ट टैलेंट फ्राम यू नो दी आई पी एल टू कम कोच और प्ले इन द पी एस एल सो फर्स्ट ई डू थिंक इट्स अ गुड आइडिया फॉर द पी एस एल टू हैपन साइमल्टेनियसली विद द आई पी एल और शुड इट हैपन एट डिफरेंट टाइम सो द जूर इज स्टिल आउट वी आई थिंक पी सी बी हेज डन द प्रेस रिलीज इज वेल आई थिंक वी आर डूइंग द नंबर द की इज दैट द टी ट्वेंटी uh league circuit has become very crowded right so 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 you are always competing with someone except for uh, ipl where there is no other cricket happening right and but but the but the financial muscle they have no no one else has that that's a reality so you need to see what the reality is and then come up with the best uh, best possible solution i think i think the the negatives are clear that the ipl sab dekh rahe hain aap kyon aa jayenge you know koi koi dekhega nahi ya player nahi aayenge uh, i think so, those are obvious the flip side uh, which are the positives um, i think those need to be considered as well uh, the first one is that there is no international cricket happening so so theoretically therefore the number of player availability beyond who are playing for ipl actually should be higher kyunki aap pub mein jab khel rahe hote hain aapki teen leagues ho rahi hain international series ho rahi hain um, india makes sure ke sri lanka india afghanistan bhi aap isme khel rahe hain so so a lot of things are happening basically right so 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 at least during ipl there is no other international cricket happening so player availability can be higher and we are doing analysis on that number one number two is that uh, viewership uh, 95% of your viewership actually is from pakistan uh, and that's the biggest strength of pakistan like india that your domestic viewership uh, viewership is very very high the numbers are are, are really good so so hum lose nahi karenge 5% lose kar lenge but the non resident pakistanis and others actually can and uh, there was a there was a marketing guy not to be named but in 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 the sports circuit they were saying actually that if they are back to back games two hours apart then probably the viewership can go up for the second league as well actually because wo log apna pura 6 ghante block kar lete hain okay then just 2 ghante psl dekhenge fir switch karenge ipl ko fir wapas aa jayenge psl pe right so so i think that actually potentially um, can happen as well and then it potentially can be uh, a permanent solution as well if it works well uh, because permanent is still hoga kyunki ipl mein to koi aur kuch ho nahi raha so you don't have to worry about ke koi aur commercial league aa gayi hai ya aapka you know champions trophy wo aa gaya hai ya world cup aa gaya hai and therefore your window is gone and therefore you need to do something else so if you have permanence if shayan and pro pakistani know that in april psl is going to happen in april every year for the next 10 years you will plan very differently then you'll say ke yaar acha ye mera calendar block kar do for the next 10 years i'm going to do these things right now the key is ke hum 6 hafte pehle tak to announce hi nahi karte ke kab ho rahi hai hmm. so so i think i think there are a lot of positives so I, I, again it's one of those decisions basically that you, we don't need to become emotional about it you you put it on paper analyze hmm. it and see what the mark say the mark say what is the best decision and what about you know we all are very emotional ke पाकिस्तान में क्रिकेट हो पाकिस्तान में माई सेल्फ इंक्लूडेड वैसे तो आई लव वॉचिंग गेम्स पिंडी में या कराची में बट वॉट अबाउट इंक्रीज प्लेयर अवेलेबिलिटी अगर हम फॉर एग्जाम्पल कुछ चंक ऑफ पी एस एल गेम्स दुबई में कर रहे हों या समवेयर एल्स लंडन में दैट्स ऑल्सो बिन डाउट आई बिलीव वॉट आर योर थॉट्स ऑन दैट सो आई थिंक टू थ्री पॉइंट्स टू 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 कंसिडर देर आई थिंक द फर्स्ट वन इज एंड दिस इज माई पर्सनल व्यू वो देखें जब आप आपका आपका अपना ब्रांड यू नो वो या कॉन्फिडेंस ज्यादा हाई ना ना हो तो यू स्टार्ट डाउटिंग एवरीथिंग बेसिकली राइट सो तो के जी बाहर ले जाएंगे तो पता नहीं क्या हो जाएगा या सिर्फ अंदर रखनी चाहिए पाकिस्तान की लीग है पाकिस्तान में होनी चाहिए आई पी एल हैज डन दैट आई एम गिविंग यू दैट एग्जाम्पल क्योंकि उनका बेंच मार्क है बेसिकली आई पी एल हैज टेकन इट टू दुबई देखन इट टू साउथ अफ्रीका अ फ्यू टाइम्स फॉर डिफरेंट रीजन इलेक्शन हो रहे हैं कोविड है या जो भी मसले सो आई डोंट थिंक वी शुड डाउट if it makes sense we should do it so that's the number one thing number uh, two is that i i am personally again a big believer that you need uh, fan involvement and fan involvement the maximum can happen in pakistan simple si baat basically jo islamabad pindi jo pindi mein aapke passion hota hai ya jo jo lahore mein passion hota hai wo kam hoga basically right so uh, by so, so you need to find a place where you actually can fill the Uh, stadiums because the, the fans bring huge amounts of energy and passion uh, so so wo uh, i'm not sure ki aap dubai mein kar sakte hain ki pura stadium fill ho jayega ki nahi ho jayega i'm i doubt it par ho sakta hai agar but agar england mein keh rahe hain ki aap le jayenge aur wahan pe it be a sell out why not 
پی ایس ایل تو پاکستان کی ہے نا وہ تو پاکستان کی ہی رہے گی بٹ اف یو ٹیکنگ اٹ آؤٹ آئی ایکچولی تھنک یو ایکچولی آر ایکسپینڈنگ پی ایس ایل ان ٹو اے بگر برانڈ جیوگرافیکلی ایز ویل اینڈ دین ادر اپرچونیٹیز کم اپ سو دیٹ آئی پی ایل اور آئی پی ایل ٹیمز آر ڈوئنگ اٹ وائی کان پاکستان ڈو اٹ We should, we should definitely yeah. think about it. IPL teams are doing it. Uh, you know, English Premier League is doing it. WWE is doing it. Lots of different uh, sports entities are doing it. And it's what UFC is doing it. Okay, you've talked about believing in your brand. Um, you're a team owner in the PSL. You're directly involved in this. Do you believe that we can one day be as big as the IPL? Can the PSL ever compete with the IPL? Or is that not even a question? تو اب اس کا تو دیکھیں یہ انڈیپینڈنٹ آنسر تو ہے ہی نہیں یہ تو ڈیپینڈنٹ ہے جو رزلٹ ہے اس کا ڈیپینڈنٹ ہے آپ مجھے بتا دیں کہ پاکستان اکانومی کتنی بڑی ہوگی جب انڈیا اکانومی جتنی جس دن اتنی بڑی ہو جائے گی پی ایس ایل اس سے بڑا ہو جائے گا آئی پی ایل سے ویری سمپل مشکل لگ رہا ہے مشکل بٹ آئی تھنک ان لیس انٹل اوبیسلی وی آؤٹ پر فارم انڈیا بٹ اگر اف دے آر فائیو ٹائم اور سکس ٹائمس بگر دین آس uh on population so that their numbers are more it's it's, it's very simple so I, i i i really think we should not benchmark ki unki agar 1 billion ki biki hai broadcast to hamari to agar 50 million ki biki hai so that's really bad that should not be the case we should do a like for like like for like is ki aapki 6 team hai unki 10 team hai like for like is ki unki agar economy is 9 times bigger than your economy then your broadcast right will not be that so you you have to adjust it اور ایپل ٹو ایپل آپ کمپیریزن کریں نا جب آپ وہ کریں گے یو نیڈ ٹو آؤٹ پرفارم آن دیٹ اینڈ دین آبویسلی ایف دا اکانمی گروز فاسٹر دین یو ڈو ایون بیٹر سو سو لائک فار لائک پہ پی ایس ایل ایکچولی از ڈوئنگ ویری ویل اینڈ اٹس دا سیکنڈ لارجسٹ برانڈ اٹس دا بگیسٹ برانڈ پاکستان ہیز پروڈیوسڈ اس میں تو کوئی شک نہیں سو وی شوڈ آلویز بی کرٹیکل اینڈ امپرو اینڈ ٹرائی ٹو امپرو آر سیلس بٹ وی شوڈ ناٹ لوز سائڈ دیٹ اٹس اے نون برانڈ اٹ پرابلی از دا بگیسٹ global brand pakistan has ever produced so so and that's an accomplishment and and foreign cricketers and coaches and and cameramen they like coming to pakistan and spending that one month despite all our you know lack of movement and all that stuff so so i think there are a lot of bright spots and we need to focus on those two and and continue to improve and abne abhi baat ki ke foreign coaches and you know cameramen and all they like coming to pakistan hamari bhi baat bhi chal rahi thi ki psl ko kuch leg agar bahar kare There is this big question uh, going around Pakistan آج کل کے آئی سوری آئی سی سی چیمپئنس ٹرافی جو ہے کیا وہ پاکستان میں ہوسٹ ہو سکتی ہے کیا ہونی چاہیے ہے ڈو وی ہیو دا ریلیونٹ انفراسٹرکچر سیفٹی سیکیورٹی آل آف دیٹ کیونکہ یو نو وی اسٹرگل ٹو بی آنسٹ اگر سچ بات کریں تو کبھی کبھار جب سیریز بھی ادھر ہو رہی ہوتی تو ہم سے تھوڑی سی اسٹرگل ہم کراچی میں سارے میچ کرا دیتے ہیں جو بھی ایک اتنے بڑے لیول پہ مائی لائف ٹائم ایم ایل آئی واز تھری جب نائنٹین نائنٹی سکس کا ورلڈ کپ ہوا تھا یا فور یا تو وہ تو چلو چھوڑ دو نا ان آر ان مائی لائف ٹائم ویو نیور ڈن سم تھنگ آف دیٹ اسکیل ڈو یو تھنک وی ریڈی ٹو ڈو اٹ نیکسٹ ایئر ٹو می دا سمپل آنسر از یس اینڈ آئی ایف یو الاؤ می آئی وانٹ ٹو گیو لیڈ بر کانٹیکس لیکن جب ٹو تھاؤزینڈ سکسٹین میں پی ایس ایل اسٹارٹ کی تھی اٹ ایکچولی ری اسٹارٹ انٹرنیشنل کرکٹ سو آئی تھنک آئی تھنک دیٹ اینڈ اینڈ پیپل سیٹ انٹرنیشنل کرکٹ دیٹ ایکچولی مینس کہ جی ساؤتھ افریقہ کے گیارہ پلیئرز آ گئے یا پی ایس ایل میں دو ٹیمز آ گئے پیپل ڈونٹ ریئلائز دیٹ فار انٹرنیشنل کرکٹ دے از اے مچ بگر اینڈ لارجر ایکو سسٹم سو وین پاکستان ڈنٹ ہیو انٹرنیشنل کرکٹ امیجن فرام وٹ وٹ ایور دا ٹائم پیریڈ واز ٹو تھاؤزینڈ ایٹ سے ٹائم پیریڈ واز دیٹس وین کرکٹ اسینشلی چینجڈ آپ کا آئی پی ایل آیا یو نو سو سو دا ہول کرکٹ دا اسٹیڈیم انفراسٹرکچر چینج دا براڈ کاسٹنگ انفراسٹرکچر چینج دا پلیئنگ کرکٹ ٹیکنیک چینج تو باقی ساری دنیا اوپر چلے گئی اینڈ بیکاز یو ڈنٹ ہیو انٹرنیشنل کرکٹ آپ کا انفراسٹرکچر ڈکے کر گیا امپروو کو چھوڑے نا تو ان اسٹیٹس ٹرم باقی ساری دنیا ون ٹو اسٹینڈرڈ ڈویژن اوپر ہے آپ ون ٹو سیون ڈویژن نیچے چلے گئے سو فرام سنس ٹو تھاؤزینڈ سکسٹین یو آر ٹرائنگ ٹو کیچ اپ اینڈ یو آر پرابلی آئی ڈونٹ نو سکسٹی سیونٹی ایٹی پرسینٹ بٹ سکسٹی سیونٹی ایٹی پرسینٹ از گڈ اینڈ آف اینڈ اینڈ دیٹ ہیز ہیپن ناٹ اونلی ان کرکٹ بٹ آپ وہ کہتے ہیں کہ جی سڑکیں بند کر دیتے ہیں اینڈ ان دا لاسٹ فائیو سکس پی ایس ایل ہیز امپروو بٹ آپ پولیس کو دیکھیں پولیس کو جو لوگ پہلے پی ٹو تھاؤزینڈ ایٹ انٹرنیشنل کرکٹ کو ایس او پیز جو میں پھر بات اس پہ آ جاؤں گا جو اسٹینڈرڈ آپریٹنگ پروسیز ان کو پتا تھا کہ جب ٹیم موو کرے گی تو کیا کرنا ہے وہ ساری ایکسپیرینس بھی لاسٹ تو آپ نے وہ دوبارہ سے سارا 
लर्न करना था कि क्या करना है किस तरह मूवमेंट करनी है उनको तो पता ही नहीं उनका तो ये जी वी आई पी मूवमेंट हो रही है सब कुछ बंद कर दो दैट वॉट यूज टू है पाकिस्तान तो नाउ इट वॉज के अच्छा नहीं ये तो नॉर्मल की चीज है इसके साथ हम हाउ डू वी एग्जिस्ट विद दैट सो द होल सोसाइटी है टू रीलर्न कि अगर एक इंटरनेशनल सीज हो रही है तो उसमें हम एक किस तरह ऑपरेट करेंगे एज अ सिटी एज एन इंडिविजुअल एज 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 कंपनी सो सो आई 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 थिंक हो सकता है वो जियो पॉलिटिक्स नॉट विद स्टैंडिंग देर इज नो रीजन वाई इट शुड नॉट है एंड अलॉट ऑफ बिन मेड आपने शुरू में भी बात की कि पोटेंशियल पाकिस्तान का बहुत ज्यादा है वो जब हम क्रिकेट की बात करते हैं तो पोटेंशियल की बात होती है जब हम इकोनॉमी की बात करते हैं तो पोटेंशियल की बात होती है जिसकी भी बात करते हैं पोटेंशियल की बात होती है वॉट in your opinion and and you have such a large sort of macro view of this what are we moving towards that realizing that potential and what needs to change i know there is government issues etc but kuch hope hai ya 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 are you are you losing it nahi dekhiye hope to hamesha honi chahiye you know but but hope in itself actually uh whether it's wishful or whether it can be realizable i think that's the that's the that's the difference um so i'll i'll give you two three co- uh, points in that uh, the first one is pakistan ki jo problem hai na financial problem because i think we spent so much time on ki foreign exchange nahi hai aur hamara physical deficit itna hai ya debt itna hai pa- pa- pakistan's financial problems by global standards are very small very very small um uh, that, that's that's not a problem having a 5 billion 10 billion uh, you, your you know the people we keep on talking about they'll come and invest with us they go to a neighboring country and in one factory they invest 19 billion dollars so so i don't think that that uh, having the funding is the problem the problem is that we need to sort ourselves out and and the problem is that for 75 years we have we don't know how to govern ourselves if you sort that out everything else gets sorted out people and i've been out of pakistan for about 30 years now and i've i've uh, looked at comparable economies going growing 10 20 times in the last 20 years i can tell you two three facts number one that uh, the pakistan people are, are are much much more talented let me say that and i and i'm being very objective i'm not biased uh, then most of the other comparable countries Uh, the the management quality actually is much much better um, and i'm saying that as a fact because that i have seen um, uh, the whole region for the last uh, th- including china including india uh, indonesia um, and uh, other emerging markets so 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 th- there is no dearth um, of that um, the the uh, learning ability and the hunger there is no dearth of that the issue is that we don't have the governance Uh, आप देखें ना अगर प्रो पाकिस्तान में आपको पता नहीं होगा लोगों को पता नहीं कौन गवर्न कर रहा है एंड हु इज द डिसीजन मेकर वो कल वो होगा कि नहीं होगा तो क्या होगा पीसी पीपल आस्क मी अबाउट पीसीबी कि जी पीसीबी में चेंज हो जाता है ये हो जाता है तो मैंने कहा यार पीसीबी इज लाइक अ मेनी पाकिस्तान सो पाकिस्तान में अगर आप गवर्नमेंट लेवल पर इतनी चेंजेस हो रही है पीसीबी में चेंजेस होंगी तो फिर ऑब्वियसली यू कॉन्ट हैव फॉर एनी कंट्री और एनी कंपनी टू डू वेल यू नीड स्टेबिलिटी एंड यू नीड अ कॉन्टिन्यूटी ऑफ प्रोसेस कोई भी प्रोसेस है इट डजेंट मैटर कि आप डेमोक्रेटिक हैं सोशलिस्ट हैं कम्युनिस्ट हैं बट एटलीस्ट जो आप डिफाइन करते हैं स्टिक टू इट एंड एंड अगर आप वो कर लेंगे देर इज नो रीजन पाकिस्तान कैन नॉट डू वेरी वेरी वेल देर इज एब्सोलूटली नो रीजन बट जो ऐसे जब अगर आप जब तक वो डिफाइन नहीं करेंगे इट विल नॉट चेंज यूल ऑलवेज हैव दीज बूम एंड बस्ट थिंग्स वे दो तीन साल के लिए आप वापस आ जाएंगे फिर वापस नीचे चले जाएंगे बट 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 दैट्स दैट्स हाउ इट विल गो फ्रॉम एन इंडिविजुअल पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू चले मैं अपनी बात करता हूं एंड आई एम श्योर दैट अ लॉट ऑफ पीपल वाचिंग इज वेल विल थिंक लाइक मी एज अ पाकिस्तानी एंड अ स्पोर्ट्स फैन आई वांट टू बाय अ पीएसएल टीम वन डे आई मीन आई कांट ऑब्वियसली आई डोंट हैव द मनी बट द आईडिया इज के आई वांट टू बी वेयर यू आर राइट आई वांट टू ओन अ स्पोर्ट्स टीम आई वांट टू ओन इस्लामाबाद और अ टीम लाइक इस्लामाबाद यूनाइटेड हाउ और व्हाट एडवाइस वुड यू गिव टू us like young pakistanis ke yaar acha chalo jo hai wo hai you also grew up in a turbulent pakistan we are growing up in a turbulent pakistan not much has changed from the early 90s when you started working to now if anything it's worse but the idea is from an individual level hum kya kar sakte hain aur kya advice aap denge to a young budding pakistani uh, who wants to become like you so uh, well, i'm not sure whether i'll advise people to become like me but uh, <laughs> but um it's uh, um 
um, I think it's quite simple actually. Um, uh, it's uh, you know we have to, we talk we, we talk about all the problems, but to the especially younger people like you and and even younger than you, uh, the the opportunities which are available are immense. Simply because the world is so flat now that you actually can and people are doing that obviously because of because of what has happened in the last two years that you can do so many things living in pakistan uh, you actually can be connected to the world and part of uh, anywhere in the world actually with any company or any enterprise so so i i think but the basic thing will be that whatever you do you have to do well and the only way you can do well is that you do something which you like doing because if you like and, and i know it's very basic but 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 people don't do it people run after pets uh, if you run after fad, you may continue to run for a few years or whatever, and then you'll run out of steam simply because it's not coming from within. So, you can be a cricketer or you can be, uh, um, uh, you know, a, a, a journalist or you can be in finance, whatever is your calling. But if you do that, and then if you, have, if you work hard, uh, I think the two together, uh, you can do anything. Uh, absolutely, I, I really, really believe in that. Actually, it may be tough, uh, but but you can achieve that. Chale, I'm not going to take up too much more of your time. I know it's late there in uh, Hong Kong, but I just have one last question, um, and um, that's I, I believe you also own a team, a cricket-related team in Hong Kong, right? Uh, achha, so I watch other sports. Just uh, for example, I, I'm an Arsenal fan in in the English Premier League and they're owned by the Cronkies who own an NFL team and then they own an NBA team and then they own different sort of uh, like a group of sports teams. In your personal ambition, do you, do you hope to one day, a lot of IPL teams, for example, have now bought teams in like South Africa, I've mentioned here, different places. Um, do you hope to sort of build an ecosystem of uh, franchises at some point? Is that part, is that on the cards? Is that something that you have in mind? So I, I I I don't think that's the end goal. It has to be more organic. It depends on the opportunities and uh, and and if the opportunities come, we'll obviously should or would look at it. We um, we did look at almost all the um, all the other leagues in the world actually, uh, whether that's in the in the Western Hemisphere or or, or the Southern Hemisphere. Um, but it as as I said initially, that anything you do. There has to be an end goal, and if end goal actually is not financially sustainable, then it will not survive. Um, so, so let's not do something which you think cannot survive to start with. There, there's no point in doing it. Makes sense. Chale, um, first of all, thank you so much. Uh, I'm well aware that you don't do this often, so thank you so much for taking out the time and and, and speaking to us. There's a lot to learn here. Diane, thank um, you so much. I enjoyed it actually. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed our content, please do subscribe to our channel and we'll see you for the next podcast.